Greetings from wherever you are watching us from. It's a lovely, beautiful afternoon at the House of Hope Dairy Farm. Today we are here to for two purposes. We want to see how they, they milk their milk, whether they observe the clean milk production, their milking procedure, and also the techniques uh, around the milking machine. Is it effective? Does it bring about mastitis? Does it affect the cow udder? Those are some of the things uh, our farmer today will help us to, to break down. So, karibu sana bona Moses. Asante sana, Jaguna. Tumeona karibu to chalayo ukikuja kukamwe in the afternoon. Oh, Makaribi, uh, sana. Uh -huh. This is uh, House of Hope uh, Dairy Farm, and uh, right now we are having our the mid milking, milk three times as in the afternoon. The uh, Makaribi sana. Uh, maybe you can give us a like a small um, like a small briefing on the things you do before the milking. Well, uh, we use a, a milking machine, a double bucket milking machine, and. Uh, what we usually do is that uh, in every session, we have procedures that we follow to make sure that hygiene and sanitation is followed. Uh, some of them contain issues around uh, handling uh, our, ourselves, our hands, and the rest is also the general equipment. So currently we are waiting for two cows to come in. What we will do is that uh, we, when we are milking, that's when we give our concentrates our dairy meal na maize jam so my person will come at aweka the concentrates and then we'll bring in the cows and then from there we'll proceed and explain as we keep going also the very first thing you do you prepare your concentrate you make sure that uh, you have assembled everything you need then you can bring in the cows yes because we use a milking machine what we do is that uh, let a Let a uh, what we do is that first of all you have to make sure that your machine is ready, your machine is adequate, you may, all the parts are connected together and you can hear the pulsators, unajua kwamba everything is going correctly before you can bring any cow. You even test them to make sure that uh, all the parts are working in order and that uh, when you have the cow connected, hakuna pandipota ambapo shida itatokea. So that's one of the first things that you have to do is that you have to make sure your machine is well connected. Machine, machine and lab is Uh, any... So the name of this cow? She's called Coletta. Coletta? Yes. I love the udder. <laughs> yeah, I love good. that udder. She's one of our best cows. Wow, how many she's liters? Uh, She'll do uh, maybe at a peak of about 28 to 30 liters uh, under very good conditions. Uh, we are in a very hot place. This is Yokimau. So sometimes uh, the hot weather affects uh, how much a cow like this can produce. It's not like Kama Tuko Pande Zakinangop na Wapi Ambapo. The weather is a bit more favorable. But as I say, uh, she still is able to, to do the best. Now, what you can see what he's doing. Uh, we now prepare the udder. We use a milking machine, so what we do, what we do is that we only concentrate with the teats, not the entire udder come out on a bucket. Uh, so what my person is doing is that first of all he'll uh, well, wash the teats, make sure that they are clean. You can notice that he's using a jug that has a uh, water mix, warm water mixed with uh, mastite. At what ratios? Um, we mix. Uh, we prepare twenty liters to about. Uh, 20 ml of mastite, warm water. He uses a jug. We don't put it in a basin because if you put in a basin, we talk about maji, weke kwa the teeth, urudi tena. So if there's an infection, you can keep passing from cow to cow. So, and then now he's going to wipe. He uses a kitchen towel. Kale kakitamba notorious ka nyumbani na samanga to situmia hiyo. He uses a kitchen towel. It's a box, which means that you get to use uh, each corner for each teeth. So that you reduce anything that can transmit from one tip to the next. Uh, when you were starting to milk, I have seen uh, him uh, doing some sort of a hand milking and some milk has fallen down. Yes. What, 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 uh, what's the importance of that process? That one usually helps us to kind of check that in case there's something that uh, if the cow has anything that is a problem, it will release, you'll see it come out. And if you do that, we will not use that tip, the affected tip. But now after he's checked, he's so everything was okay, he's connecting the machine. And you can see it's not as difficult as people usually think. You know, you can do pole pole. Angalia vizuri, you make sure 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 you make s
na ngombe mazoe inaanza kutoka you make sure that you see the milk flowing in the pipe you can see in the claw this is what you call the claw the glass below the cups you can see milk has started flowing then you let the machine do the work uh, how many minutes will it take to milk uh, this particular cow i usually say that uh, milking a cow with a machine i give it 10 minutes because of preparation na kumalizia wakati wa kupanguza ngombe na kila kitu but ideally 7 minutes uh, a cow that is uh, producing about 30 liters which means maybe in the morning is 15 and then later on it will produce maybe 10 during the midday and then 5 in the evening give it 7 minutes all the time inako imetoa vizuri you can see the milk flowing when it is finished unaona mazoe imeacha kutoka pale chini and uh, unlike what we think hakuna wakati tunaona damu ikitoka pale chini unajua hiyo ndio tunakuanga tunafikiria i tell uh, farmers umekuwa na ngombe kumi, ngombe zimefika kumi, si tununue milking machine And what is the advantage of uh, the advantage of this uh, milking machine over the hand milking first of all your hand can never milk how, how this machine milks your hand milks by stripping that is usually actually tearing the teeth this machine milks the way a calf would be suckling and it's usually i say you press it's pressing the teeth to remove the milk as we strip so when you keep stripping raising ngombe inakuwa inapata mashida kama hizo za unapata the teeth zina crack na vitu kama hizo but with this you never get cases like that any other advantage in terms of uh, efficiency obviously because kama sasa this machine here is a two bucket i think tunakamua anyway about 26 cows and even one person akiwa hapa hata ikikuwa kwamba tumeshikana na kukwenda mtu mmoja he'll be able to do that so the 26 cows you are able to milk within one hour 30 uh, minutes i think maybe going to two hours especially the morning milking is a bit long because iko na maziwa mingi give it about two hours but you see the way the machine milks from the first cow is the same it will milk the last cow but mkulima ukiwa ni wewe ngombe hata zikiwa ni tano ya kwanza sio kana inatoa 15 liters hautakamua hivyo ngombe ya tano so that one means that it's able to remove all the milk reducing the chances of issues like mastitis or something like that now what you can see him doing there once the milk we see the milk has stopped flowing in the pipe he'll massage the udder by massaging the udder the cow releases any more milk ambayo bado haijatoka and it's not a very complicated process as you can see kila anafanya tu just to keep massaging the udder just let the cow uh, release any milk that is excess ambayo uh, bado imebaki yeah but our electricity bill is too high have you ever tried to compare the the hand milking versus uh, the electricity bills well one the thing, labor well what happens is this um machines like uh, these machines are very uh, they are very economical in terms of like uh, their power usage obviously there's a uh, ukiweka machine kwa stima it will add to your kplc bill but one of the things that i usually say is that when especially when you're counting your cows are more than 10 as inaendelea kuwa mingi the speed by which inakamua the challenges that it reduces because you can milk by hand but all it takes is just a small problem na mastitis ikikuja it it negates all that a typical treatment of mastitis is anywhere between 5000 to 7000 hiyo machine haitakula bill kama hiyo kumwezi so you see what that, happens when you have the power blackout now there are various options um there are companies that sell uh, like we use caesar machine from taki they come with a, a petrol engine option so steam ikipote una connect petrol unaendelea or like now us we have the school generator that fans the school so it picks in and it goes on but mkulima kawaida akiwa na kale hiyo those ones are usually they are sold they might be a little bit more money wakati wa kununua but it's one of those investments as i say like uh, ukiwa mkulima and you want your farm to go far you just you you know that hata kukiwa stima ikipotea mtu wako akiwa shambani bado ataweza kutumia machine so there are so many advantages over and above the electricity bill yes wow. there is because you see the major thing as i say is the 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 reduction that you do towards issues of mastitis ngombe kuwa ugonjwa and also the, how realistic we get tukisha sema we are, are dreaming about our dairy farms getting big ngombe 30 kusema kwamba utapata kwa watu wanakuja na kumua ngombe 30 hata kama ni pale kwa kijiji unapatia nanga vibarua za watu kukuja surely that is not very bad i have seen uh, we have the concentrate there i saw you putting the dairy meal there some little bit of maize jam how long will that cow take to to finish up everything now 
in those 10 minutes that you take from preparation remember when the cow entered it started eating the dairy meal as you were washing the teeth and you were connecting the machine to the time that you will take to remove the machine the cow will have finished the concentrate what happens if the cow hasn't uh, finished um most of the time what we do is that uh, when you have dairy meal liquor in powder format the cow takes a little bit longer so for us what we do is that we wet the dairy meal a little bit just add a little bit of water to the dairy meal make it clump up clump up kidogo the cow eats it far much faster it's very rare that you will find that umemaliza na haijamaliza in fact in case we finish milking and a cow has not finished it's usually a sign the cow may not be so okay there might be a problem because in uh, most most of the cases in a coin maliza by the time how many kgs of uh, dairy meal and uh, maize jam uh, we have a mixture of about it's about 3 kilograms total the whole total the whole total is and that's kilograms. the same place we'll add the minerals yes and uh, that's where we will also put the minerals yes so there's no dairy meal in the trough it's uh, exclusively during the that's the way field. we do it exclusively here because we in our troughs we have not separated them in a way that one cow can be locked to it one place we fill in uh, the trough with the uh, same food so the concentrates are fed here wow i can see it's almost uh, 10 minutes are over yes i can, can see, see he's disconnecting uh, it and uh, he has removed the claw now the next part is one of the most crucial parts what is he doing doing uh, by opening a little bit the valve the pressure valve he has just make sure that all the milk that was in the pipe has gone to the drum then the next thing now is that uh, he's going to strip just to check if there's anything milk that is remaining and most cows if you see in metoa vizuri that's actually for good demonstration purpose for most uh, farmers and bonas amanga itabakisha labda litatano litambili you can see there is nothing from there now what uh, he'll do is that he'll empty um, the milk that is in the in the drum ile ambayo imekamuliwa the good thing about this as you can see the milk ile inatoka the quality is very white hakuna no contamination uh, very little where like the human hands touch the milk so you can see very good uh, the quality the end quality is good then now what he needs to do is to um, the teeth once ngombe uh, imekamuliwa the the place where the mazina tokay in the teeth it usually remains open for 30 minutes uh, before it locks again so we need to make sure that that place is guarded before it locks up so what is using there is mastrite a uh, concentrated mastrite maybe about uh, one is to one with water anaweka kila teeth uh, so we call it a teeth dip and uh, as you can see what it ha- does is that hapo nzi na all those uh, types of bugs that can bring a problem zinakuwa sasa tumemaliza why that one and not the teeth cup i think for me i see them work the same way because <laughs> at the end of it all it's a teeth dip and i usually say kwa mkulima sio kila wakati kutumia pesa kama you can manufacture something of yours and it works the same way but the key thing is this that teeth dip we only prepare it for the, the, this milking session atutatengeneza ati kwamba ile teeth dip tumekuwa nayo ya kutoka sijui juzi bado ndio inaendelea yes so that teeth dip that is prepared right now will be only for this period after that tutakuwa tumemaliza now what will happen next there since uh, uh, we are done with milking when we are done with milking uh, the machine usually niku nikuosha tutaosha machine the machine self cleans once those cups are mouse na kamua you put them in warm water they suck in the water and they flush out the pipe and so then from there he'll disconnect all the parts panguza vizuri na some nice uh, disinfectant uh, water and then as you can see there's something right. i've noticed about uh, your the your pressure yeah mm-hmm. i can't see that ka, ka pressure thing uh, around the milking uh, oh yes the yes yes, yes. The, the machine itself is not here tumefanya ukarabati as you can see the pvc here are green the machine iko kwa store we remove it here because here ikiwa hapa makelele ni mingi ngombe inaweza igonga ngombe tena unapata sometimes the cow urinates makojo na haribu it rusts very quickly na hapa kuna maji so we prefer inakuwa iko mbali then the, the vacuum comes uh, with the green pipe there is the pressure gauge that is there alafu sasa tuna nini most people who sell these machines they can always make that for you also this is uh, just a a self made uh, yes it's a self made yes, yes. you self guard the the, the shelf machine. life of that machine exactly exactly wow so immediately after milking you wash the any good procedure maybe warm water yes, hot yes, yes. water what you usually do is that you need warm water once 
the once uh, the machine has finished we'll bring in a bucket with warm water uh, put in these uh, cups this is the, the, the cloth this is nakamua they'll sip out they'll sip in all the water they'll flush out the drum uh, the the pipes uh, the milk ile mebaki kwa pipe inde kwa drum then from there uh, ni kuosha tu sasa we disconnect wash it with the magic there's no chemical you will use to to clean uh, the... no you can but you can use a soft uh, disinfectant like noroclens it's very soft it's not harsh to the equipment yeah so sometimes that, that's what we can use but ukiwa na warm water and some very light soap and then you really rinse it out then you leave it in the sun to dry should be okay Uh, that one now happens even to those uh, the, the milking uh, containers there. Yes, yes, yes. So once you are done with milking, uh, you milk at 4 a.m. in yes. the morning. Yes, at 4 a.m. Again at 12. Yes. And, And then, then again at 4. Around 4.30, yes. Uh, why is it that between 4 and uh, 4 in the evening and 4 in the morning yeah? mm-hmm. those are like 12 hours mm-hmm. but between the mid uh, mm-hmm. afternoon yeah? mm-hmm. the afternoon milking and the evening milking is too short in, uh, um really not it's more of like the, our comfort because one of the challenges that we usually have there's what is prescribed there's what is logical for your farm tunaambia ngo kama unakamua mara tatu divide the day into 3 hours Now it's very difficult for us kukua tunakamua saa 5 saa 5 because also customers wetu wanahitaji maziwa in the evening yes exactly the, for the evening usage so yes this is what I was, and uh, it's probably one of the mantras that I go by that there's there's the rule of thumb and then there's what is logical they, for your farm <laughs> so that's how we do it. and the logic of our rules the rule of thumb and because us tunakuanga na ngombe and uh, they give us milk and we're able to proceed <laughs> We are happy with that. I like that. Eh? Mm. So the evening milk is uh, the short hours is purely because of the milk market. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Wow. Thank you so much yes. for your time. Thank Asante you. sana. Asante sana. I'm very sure that our viewer has uh, really enjoyed. Maybe you can give the viewer a piece of advice. Um I think for what I usually tell people when you are doing dairy farming, get what is the right information. Get the logic about what you are doing wacha kufuata mambo ambayo unasikia ni zile tunaitanga fununu zile tunaitanga the hype dairy farming is not very easy but when you know the logic when you know the information the right information it can work for you asante sana asante sana thank you